Good evening, everyone. The government bowing to pressure. Starting tomorrow, the FDA will be holding two days of public meetings looking into the safety of breast implants. They'll be hearing from women who say their breast implants caused a wide range of symptoms from autoimmune disorders to extreme fatigue to brain fog to joint pain. And like the women in my investigations, they say they were sick, but that their health improved once they had their implants removed. Migraines and eye sensitivity were the first symptoms that I had. My brain fog is really bad. Um, memory loss. And I clicked on this implant group and I was floored. I was literally in tears because someone else out there felt like me. You know, I, I'm not crazy. It's not in my head. We introduced you to Tina, Karen, and Melissa. They say unexplained illnesses have left them sick and exhausted to the point they can barely function. They are among thousands of women sharing their stories on social media who believe they suffer from breast implant illness, a condition the medical community says does not exist. CBS5 followed all three women as they had their implants removed. The result? They say dramatic improvements, claiming symptom after symptom got better or disappeared altogether. Tell me if you've noticed a difference. Inflammation. Inflammation is gone. Brain fog. It's getting better. Migraines. I have not had any. Fatigue. The fatigue's definitely better. Eye infections. They're gone. Sinus infections. Gone. Blurry vision. Gone. Sinus and headaches. Gone. And you had those every day? Every single day. Women will be coming here from all over the country. They want textured implants linked to a rare form of cancer taken off the market. Those implants are no longer sold in Europe, but they are still sold here in the United States. And these women are demanding stronger warnings about breast implants. They say they don't want other women to go through what they've been through. Many say their doctors ignored them, but now they have the attention of the federal government and I'll be here bringing you full reports.